and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taric Lux. We're going to be uh, trying out another Taric deck. Um, I feel pretty good about this one. I think this is going to be it. I think we're finally going to have a successful Taric deck because we were pairing Taric with Demacia. Instead of playing so many Targon cards, we'll be playing mostly Demacia cards. Lots of challengers, and I think challengers are really important with Taric. So we have Fleet Feather Tracker, Blinding Assault to be able to bring a Valor around for another two mana card we got laurent protege in here so a good amount of challengers those challengers can be really cool with mentor of the stones especially like those cheap ones that are usually one ones we can buff those up to be four threes with the help of mentor of the stones um the the blinding assault does a couple of other things besides being a, a two mana unit um it it also is really good with radiant guardian right we're like turn five we can spend two spell mana play the Blinding Assault, attack, have it die, and then play a Radiant Guardian still on turn five. That's a very good combo. And then plus it's also a spell, so it does help level up Lux. We can pair Blinding Assault with Repost, and that gets us our six mana for our Lux. Um, Repost seems like it's going to be pretty cool with, with Taric. I think that's that's a good combination. We're going to be trying that of like um, have Taric support a Challenger, Repost the Taric, and then also Repost the Challenger. That could be really cool. So we got that combo. Um, the reason to, to play Taric and Lux together is basically because of that double casting. Like, let's say we have a Lux in play whenever we do that. Then our Repost gets cast twice. So that's eight mana of spells. And so, boom, we make a final spark. And so hopefully um, Taric can help us create even more uh, final sparks uh, with Lux in play. All right, so that's that's our deck. That's what our deck's all about. Let's see how it does. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked and uh, hopefully get a good record this time because we have been struggling with Taric decks recently. As you can see, our, our Lulu Taric um, focusing on all supports didn't work out too well. But I feel pretty good about this one. All right, I think we're going to mulligan like everything. Or maybe keep the protege just a second. I got a text two minutes ago. Okay, sorry. So we are going to keep Leona Aurelian Soul. I think we're just going to keep the protege and Mulligan everything else. Um, Repost is a, a perfectly fine spell, but wanted to make sure that we have our units first for our Repose, but Repose does work out well with Protégé. Get him, Tracker. Wow, I didn't expect that. I expected, uh, you know, one of the Daybreak cards. We got Astra, their new Guardian. And there's Daybreak card. In her radiant blessing. Strength and grace, beauty in the You think Tarek should have three power instead of two? I can see that. I can see that. So this is a tough call here whether or not to play Tarek before combat or to just go to combat. Like, uh yeah, I guess we still do it, because I guess there's not much downside. Like the downside, you know, like they play Leona. You know, so so Arachnoid Sentry, and they stun my Tarek. I'd still have my protege just challenges. It's like that's not that big a deal. We're gonna save our spell mana. We may want the spell mana for these concerted strikes. We don't need to play Blinding Assault yet. And plus, saving your spells and saving your spell mana is good for Lux. Definitely like the Pale Cascade. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Ooh. I know exactly what to do. Because I want to play Lux. And then, like, Pale Cascade. Because. Lost in reflection. Alright, we're just going to go this route. You're covered. That should count as a target, right? Yep. So that's our first target. Just 
Protect all. You call this a fight? So I know that doesn't actually kill Leona, but just sets us up to having a better board without committing too much. So they have three good invoke cards in hand. We chart our path by the stars. Three good invoke cards in hand. We are at four for Tarek. I know these paths well. Ooh, they missed. I feel like if I play Lux, that they like, um, they got you know two two four through six mana invoke cards, so it's probably likely that they have the six mana obliterate an enemy. I think that's that's fairly likely. And so that's what I'm worried about a little bit with playing Lux than they obliterate Lux. I'd rather them use the obliterate on the Taric than the Lux. I also don't want to pass and then they pass back and I don't spend any of my mana. I want to spend a little bit, so. Four and one. Alright, so that will kill. We're going to go Blessing of Targon here. Crystallizes. And mentor the stones down. Well, Hush is pretty good. Shadow Isles card they just grabbed. Makes sense. Beauty and life. Taking their time. So I think my plan is to, to try to kill the two mountain scryers, I think. I think that's my plan. I think. War is everlasting. I will shield my people as long as I draw breath. My shield is yours. All right, warrior annoying means that I'm not attacking with Tarek. Leona's whatever. I, I don't care about Leona. You are toast. It's just a Ragnoid entry. These things make stuff cost less. Like they're saving all this mana with all these info cards. That's worse. So I can concerted strike to try to take down the warrior to keep it from killing my Taric. Um, Concerted Strike, I do target two. I do pick two allies, so that should be targeting two allies as far as leveling up if Eric is concerned. We're going to choose the two three twos. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. That didn't work out. So I still have more cards in hand than I do by by one, but one of my cards is a gem. Whoa, Niceville! Okay. All right, so Diana, Twisted Fate for tomorrow. All right, I will play that tomorrow, Niceville. Thank you so much.
All right, we got Diana, Twisted Fate tomorrow. Love it. Have any kind of preference on, on time slot? Everywhere I go, the light follows. Not, not really Z-Mads. We just started this deck. So you came in on, on game one here. We got five games left. So it's not the end of the stream. May our light shine forever. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. Ooh, repose could be good. No, I don't want to use it, that kind of mana right now. Okay, the earlier the better for you. Good to know, thank you. I like how we get to just use this Bastion and the Lee Sin will just keep this Spell Shield. You know, the Spell Shield doesn't go away, so we can use this proactively. Final Spark that thing. Cool. Um, yeah, Frostbite did, did real good, Devo 4. I think that that, that, uh, I just think that deck's really strong. Uh, we didn't really beat up on any Lee Sin decks, I don't think. Maybe, maybe one. Um, played against Bilgewater Noxus a few times. Um, this is why, this is why I love Blinding Assault, because we, you know, get to play it, it counts as spell mana. So now just one of these, Repost or Concerted Strike, will get us a final spark. Still have five mana. I'm worried about Bastion with Concerted Strike. I'm worried about Bastion. Don't get to draw a card. It wasn't Nightfall. And their thing still dies. So that didn't seem to work very well. And we still have the 5-1 Challenger. They got something that costs seven plus mana with that invoke, so they won't be able to play it this turn. Bastion. So I wonder what else they got. They're just not playing anything right now. So we know one card they can't cast. They, they have these other four cards. Alright, so that gets obliterated. Okay, so we kill them still. Just go barrier. 
Get a final spark. Final spark does one damage to them, and then we attack for 12. GG's. There we go. See? Tarek deck doing well. 1 and 0. Oh. You may not remember. Tetherial. Hello, hello. You may not remember, we did play a couple of Tareks in that game. This one's a lot more Demacia and less Tarek. So hopefully this one works a little better. Alright, we're facing it, Tarek. Tarek Lee Sin. I think we're gonna just mulligan all these cards. I want a good Demacia curve out. Hmm. Not the best hand either. The War Mother's Call decks, I think they play Revitalizing Roar and She Who Wanders. They definitely play She Who Wanders. I'm pretty sure they play Revitalizing Roar as well. I wish we had the attack token on turn 3 with this hand. Being able to play Protégé and then Pill Cascade it and attack. That would be pretty nice. Alright, we'll play Tracker. We attack for six. With our 4 1 attacker. Look at our aggro deck go. Turn two, dealt six damage. Deck's totally aggro. And stop staring. Attack like this. Cool. Force is meaningless. And we'll just pass turn. Don't need another protege. Maybe the extra spell mana could be important. If I let them challenge and kill my protege, or whatever they're gonna challenge. If I let them do that, then we get to play Radiant Guardian with both the Lifesteal and the top. Okay, they're trying to kill that thing. I'm just going to let it happen. I could spend four mana on Repose to save it. Or I could just spend two mana and play a new one. Should I just attack and... I mean, I guess I just... Banish the unworthy. This puts them down to two. And what, I like repost my own thing? Well, I guess if I do that... Okay, so I'm thinking like I repost my own thing. Like I have like Pale Cascade and repost to try to do damage. But then they have like stun cards, right? So like that's how they stay alive. They like stun my things. Um... Can I fight? I can fight through one stun card, right? Let's see. I'd go over post here. Seven. No. I'd have to pill cascade first. So I wouldn't draw a card. But I could pill cascade here. And then repost. No, that's still only nine damage. So that's only nine damage. Okay. All right. So anyway, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to repost this thing. And to challenge it. So the Lee Sin gets the barrier. So this takes out the Lee Sin barrier. You're a 2 3. I don't, guess I don't have my 2 3 challenge there, 3 2. Almost. And I was one mana from being able to play another Repost. Which that would have done it. Gem 
weapons are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. All right, so if I play Lux, then they get to challenge, like, they get to kill my Radiant Guardian. Or I can play, you know, Protégé and Riposte, and then they don't kill anything. But then I don't have the Riposte for the spell mana for the Lux. Game. I thought we were winning, but maybe not. He sends really good. Maybe not. Alright, I'm not going to use the repose because all that would do is just put put that back into my hand. So we're just going to save the spell mana, go Genevieve Elmhart with Riposte. Um, just really hoping they don't have another Hush. Follow my lead. Yeah, really hoping they don't have another Hush. Uh, that, that's another Hush. I don't think there's going to be a Lee Sin nerf the next patch. I think there's going to be a Bastion nerf. I don't think Lee Sin's gonna get nerfed though. I know that the the chance of this working is very very slight, but I have to try. Conflict is all in the mind. I just have to try. I know that that's really slight of working. Any any Desu with a raid. Thank you so much, everybody, for... Uh, ooh, there we go. Thanks, everybody, for coming on over from any stream. We're currently playing... Uh, that could help. Some Taric Lux right now. Trying a different take on... Um, Taric. Close my eyes, make it fair. This puts me down to three. Yeah, the um, the person in, in charge of the changes um, yeah, their hand was just awesome. Did say that that um, bash like immediately. The Bastion might have been an overcorrection. Alright, so we're playing against a burn deck. Good. Radiant Guardian is going to be an important part um, of our plan. Play against Autofield like every day, but Autofield always plays... Always plays... Um, Noxus plus... Uh, Bilgewater. He's always played Noxus Bilgewater Burn. This is like the first time playing something else. Playing some Piltover and Zon Shadow Owls Burn. That's different. I will attack, I won't attack, I will attack. I was ranked 43 when you checked yesterday. Nice, Mafia Plot. I shouldn't be that now. We've had a, a we've picked up some losses because of Tarek. <laughs> so we shouldn't be 43 anymore. But still, that's really good. We were there yesterday. Ooh, great draw. 
Great draw. I am here. Look at our turret go. Stand resolute. That's probably worth. That's probably worth it. So we're, you know, basically spending that, turning that three mana into a three-two challenger, which they have another mystic shot for. But I don't regret that. That's probably worth it. All right, let's go barrier and bell cascade. First one's free. Hmm. Still gonna turn this into a draw two. To protect all, unyielding. All right, now hopefully on defense we'll have. Surprised that Caustic Cask isn't blocking. Oh, that's right. It wants to block here so they can have Callista level up. That's cool. That's cool. That's right. We'll block and throw away our Bright Seal Protectors and get Radiant Guardian in play. I guess if I concerted strike and kill the Neverglade collector with that, then our Taric does level it's up. Time to shine. I probably am just supposed to get Radiant Guardian in play this turn. Yeah, we could go with, like the Hush. There's a lot of things we could do this turn. If I had something with four power, I'd be able to Radiant Guardian. Or sorry, not sorry, not. We build a concerted strike and kill the thing that Callista puts back into play. Oh, it's gonna be that thing. This is rather dull. That's gonna be annoying. Okay, just pass it over to me. That's cool. We can do this. to attack with that. Honor guide me. My steel is yours. Okay. Never submit. <clears throat> so that's gonna be eight mana now that we just spent with Lux and now Lux will, will create the final spark for us. So I can either kill Neverglade Collector or Callista. Either one with the final spark. And I think that it's better to kill Callista. Because you know that can bring in like the multiple bodies. The Neverglade Collector for the next turn, we can... You know, I think that's okay to keep alive for an additional turn. And then Concerted Strike or Hush or something like that. Why no attack with Lux? Just because it's... I mean, it's just pointless, I guess. I I don't know. I don't... I don't want to risk Lux dying whatsoever. to be any any risk with that. I guess it's probably better to kill Neverglade Collector. Maybe it is. A beacon through the dark. Yeah, give them less Neverglade Collector value by not attacking. Both of those? 
I thought with Concerted Strike striking twice, like, the first one would strike and it would kill it, and then the second one would hit the Callista. Well, dang. That's not how that card works, I guess. All good. No more holding back. No, I guess both both of those strikes went to the other thing that the Callista was bringing into play. Oh, this thing doesn't have Challenger? That was dumb. Illuminate the enemy. All right, whatever. Honor the mountain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We, we should still just be fine. You Not too worried about it. We should still be just fine. I'm not casting Pill Cascade because um, I want to cast the final spark. All right, GG's. GG. These gems are just Didn't even, stuff. we kept Radiant Guardian and never even played it. Oh, right, Spell Shield. Spell Shield thingy, right. I like Sejuani and Garen. I like both of those cards. I don't know exactly what, what Sejuani Garen looks like, but probably like a Demacia curve out. Um, that sounds like a deck that got hurt by Warchef's nerf. Do I keep both Hush or just one Hush? We're, we're definitely keeping a Hush for They Who Endure. It's just do we keep two Hush for two They Who Endures? Maybe we just keep the one. It's this, you know, we're... I'd love to have Hush on turn eight, <laughs> but not really before that. We could use it on Curse Keeper or you know, other stuff, but I just don't really need it. Probably better to play these than not to play these. Where are you? So that's what the warden's prey created. That is a that's a good one. Yeah, that was a good warden's prey. Light of Caretaker is pretty busted. <laughs> He'll just steal games. It will steal games. Looking into the future, I see purple. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Oh, really? Man, Mentor of the Stones has just been horrible. No. 
This card has continu continuously been very bad. We'll make that trade. That egg, did it move? I guess if they had unspeakable another unspeakable horror, they probably would have played it. They did play unspeakable horror before, right? So like one of those should be a nightfall card, I believe. Three ones. Considering playing the Guiding Touch and drawing a card first before playing the Blinding Assault to just to see what we would draw. Yeah. Well, no. The problem with doing that is like if they they play something else before combat and I need to get another blocker out here. And we start running into to mana problems or something. Grow up so fast. Okay. So you can block the you, you can block you, you can block you. Going down to three. So I'm not dead to atrocity. I would not mind them trying atrocity. They never stop. Okay, they did not try. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not great against atrocity. Shatter that. Where you at? So you're at four. So this will be five, six. So if I cast the other gem, it will level up Taric. If I cast the other gem, then I can't tap Hush and Guiding Touch. I guess I just don't need Hush right now. So I might as well cast this. Never submit. Unyielding. There is nowhere left to go but up. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep that gem for next turn. Just not worry about leveling up Taric right now. No atrocity. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we're playing OG Radiant Guardian over here. That's what we do. We play OG Radiant Guardian. Uh, 
This ain't cool. Yeah, I guess I got a double hush, right? I w wanted to try to figure out something else to do, but we just got a double hush. Otherwise, we're dead. Um, I can't, you know, I can't even single hush or anything. We just have to double hush. Black caretaker can just steal games. So, like, the problem with this is, like, the saplings won't die because, you know, they don't have ephemeral now. So, they're going to survive until the next round. So, we'll be able to block for them. They're passing to me. So they they must just they just don't have anything to kill their own thing, right? Cuz they they would definitely just do it right away. So that means I should probably play this blessing of Targon just to gain 3 life. Go to 19. That's probably worth it. It is greedy. We're we're definitely getting to 16 right now. Yes, doggies. <laughs> we're definitely getting to 16 right now. Um what are, you, what are you trying to tell me? You're trying to tell me I shouldn't do it? You it's time to shine. You gonna jump? Oh. We shall not rest until all the I don't know. Maybe I should have cast that. Go to 19. I like doubling up Pale Cascade, of course. Um. Vanish the Never submit. You have to get me out of here. Back up to 20. We can't gain any more life than 20. What? So they're just looking for they who endure, and I'm looking for hush. What's that noise? Which is kind of the game right now. get another Radiant Guardian out here. If I kill Valor, or I can just keep mowing down more things. I guess I'll just kill Valor. And get another Radiant Guardian out here. I fight for the Fallen! That's good. Positive fair. Unyielding. But they're saplings! That can maybe help me take down a They Who Endure. They've had a lot of things die. I'm not sure how big They Who Endure is going to be, but it's going to be big. Twenty-four. Crystallizes. I said it's gonna be big. Yeah, they're setting up that with atrocity. GG's. Three and two. Outrageous. It was still, it was the Blighted Caretaker that stole him that game, right? Like, I kept the hush in hand for that scenario, but 
we just got behind so much and like the blighted caretaker forced me to cast that hush um you know they just don't have that blighted caretaker right there um uh, but yeah we did have a winning result there with Tarek, three and two you know real close there to a four one um yeah this, this was good you know we played less targon cards more good Demacia cards, and as we saw, a lot more challengers. And challengers work great with support. Challengers work great with Tarek. I think that's something that, like the other versions that we have, they haven't really had the challengers. And I think that that's really important, pairing challengers alongside of Tarek. But also, Lux was just amazing. Lux with like the final sparks were awesome, and we got to cap make some easy final sparks. We got to have Repost, um, you know, Repost with Tarek did create a final spark by itself for us. That was pretty cool. But, you know, Lux was really powerful. So we had we had <clears throat> challengers to go along with support, and we also had a really powerful um, uh, partner to Tarek with Lux that if we didn't have Tarek and weren't doing our Tarek things, we were still doing uh, real well with Lux instead. And so that, that uh, worked out pretty well. Yeah, Mention of the Stones isn't the best. The one one body has has been pretty rough. Dies right away. Did get to buff up a Laurent Protege once. What was that against the the discard aggro? I think, and it kind of it kind of helped out there. Um, yeah, if it was old war chefs, I would rather play old war chefs. But um, you know, we're not living in that world. All right, but anyway, that is Tarek Lux. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.